we're going to go to our kitchen wall. So that's our kitchen wall. And this is the IKEA section. So in our IKEA section, we have, um, this is from Amazon and, um, it's really nice, but the adhesive isn't the best. So I did have to put uh, some holes and put screws. Um, it doesn't come with the holes or the screws. Um, so I did that, but if you have an espresso machine, it's really convenient. It looks good, you know, it's out of the way. Um, we do have our utensils. This is from Ikea, the bar is from Ikea. Um, the pots and pans are actually from Walmart. They're just really pretty and went with my color scheme. Um, the plant is from Ikea. And we have, this is our um, dish dryer. So, you know, whenever we wash everything, it doesn't go onto the counter, it goes straight over here. Out of mind, out of sight. Um, and then this, you can just take out and dump the water. The nice thing about it, it really, you know, you don't have to worry. A lot of people are worried about, um, you know, is it going to hold? This really holds extremely well. Um, and, you know, I don't have any complaints. When we do drive, we take down the two pots and uh, the two buckets. That's the only thing we take down. This we keep up here. And the plant, that is the only thing we put away with those two pots also. Onto the bed, everything else stays the way it is in the camper. So down here we have our little Ikea cart. The Ikea cart is not the same one that um, is kind of the popular one. This is a new version. It's a little bit bigger and you can buy as an add-on, you can buy this kind of countertop thing. So it's our coffee slash um, tea um, station. In the coffee slash tea station, I did also install in the back some uh, electricity ports. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, just to not have cables going up to the coffee, kind of where, just something a little bit cleaner. Um, there is a hinge that holds us down. These are held down with double-sided Velcro. So both of them do not move whatsoever. This we usually take off and we just put it in the sink and that's it. But the bottom is also held down. And the whole cart is on wheels. At the beginning, I thought to put, you know, some stoppers, but then I'm like, um, we like where it is. So I just put O-rings into the floor and zip ties. And now it does not move whatsoever. Here again, we have another hanger for our towel. Very convenient. Going down, we have um, our Ikea light. Alexa, turn on the mood lights. It's more for cooking. Um, it really gives some bright light that kind of illuminates everywhere. It also has, you know, a touch button that you can kind of turn it on low high. Um, that is connected, just I drilled here behind. I went straight up th through the um, cabinet where the microwave is and I plugged it straight in with a smart plug. So that is connected that way. And down here, as you guys see, we took out the soap dispenser. Instead, we put a water filter spigot. So very convenient for us. We didn't really like the idea of the soap dispenser. We really wanted something that is constantly giving us filtered water. Mind you, filters are debatable. Everybody likes, you know, a different filter, but we're very happy with the filter. It's installed right down here, all the way on the wall, and it's just connected. It's tapped in straight into the shower, uh, exterior shower that's uh, located right behind. And it is the same diameter and hole, so we didn't have to make the hole bigger or do anything. It just went straight in. Um, going down, we took out this piece of board that was here. Um, the board that was here is a little harder to take out because it keeps on going in between um, these two panels. So when you take it out, you just need to kind of break it that way, <laughs> like push it in from one side so it kind of breaks away. Um, we did install a very, very big um, drawer that has all our seasonings. We're very happy about that. It stays in and doesn't come out. You know, we have a few screws that hold it in, doesn't move around. Very, very happy about that. Um, and the Wolf Pup, you know, the best thing is the refrigerator and freezer. Um, that it's full size for such a size trailer. It's absolutely amazing. 
We're very, very happy. This one is the 12 volt fridge. Um, we did buy this camper for somebody that owned it for about two months and they were able to dent it a million different ways. So they have a dent right here and then they have a dent here at the end, a lot of little dents, but we're not gonna talk about the dents that much. Going down behind the electric board, we put a watchdog which is a 30 amp watchdog. It's a absolutely a great uh, device. Um, it's a surge protector. It literally has parameters uh, from low to high and every time it either goes too high or too low, it just cuts the electricity off and sends you a notification that the electricity is bad. That way you don't burn anything out and it's very nice. You don't really need to see it. It sends everything to your phone. Um, so I installed it in back. It's a very big device, so there really isn't anywhere to install it inside the camper. And on the outside, you can get one that goes on the power pole, but you know, you have to kind of worry about it a little bit, I guess. I don't know. A lot of people have complained that theirs has been stolen, but I've never seen it uh, been stole, but still some peace of mind is always good. Right down here, we have our router extender, which I'm gonna unplug for a second. And you're gonna see that I put more plugs and USBs. So that was very, very important for me. 